What a beautiful day inside. Uh, glad to have everyone here. Um, I want to thank you for gathering with us for a special day in the life of our institution. Uh, there are some special guests I'd like to recognize who are here with us, um, including our chair of the Board of Regents, uh, Curry Milliken, Regent Doris Thomas, who joins us, uh, Regent Gary Brody, Regent Shane Spiller is here, Regent Melissa Dennison, Regent Sam Kurtz. Where is Sam? There's Sam. Good to be here, Sam. Good to have you. Um, First Lady, Casey Caboni. Casey, thank you for making sure I got here. And um, <laughs> Athletics Director, Todd Stewart. Good to have you as well. Coach Tudor, Coach Nidell. Um, and to our student athletes and all of our other friends, supporters, staff, people who love our teams, love our university, thank you for being here to celebrate with us. So when I came to WKU in 2017, I quickly became aware of the resource constraints that were faced by some of our student athletes. Uh, constraints that forced, for example, our soccer players to change in dugouts. And later I learned about our softball players who had to use our public restrooms during games. And I knew they deserved more. And they deserved better. So today, I'm thrilled to celebrate with you a new facility that forever transforms the operations of the WKU women's soccer and softball teams. A much needed space equipped for training, for studying, for team meetings, an extraordinary complex that elevates the play of our current Hilltoppers, while at the same time elevating our ability to recruit future athletes to our Hill. This project is part of the overall university plan to provide relevant spaces for our students across our campus. Last year, we opened the Commons at Helm Library. We enjoyed year two of our first year village and we broke ground on our new Gordon Ford College of Business building. And this year, we're gonna complete our Hilltop Restoration pro Project, we're gonna break ground on the Hilltopper Fieldhouse and Press Box, and we continue to plan for the upcoming $30 million renovation of our iconic Cherry Hall. And now, we begin work to complete the other half of the first year village. The new WKU Soccer Softball Complex that we celebrate today, as well as the Hilltopper Fieldhouse and Press Box coming down the road, will benefit our students, our athletics programs, and our university for years to come. So on behalf of the entire WKU community, congratulations on your new home. Casey and I look forward to cheering for you this fall and in the spring, and I hope you enjoy this beautiful new facility. Go Tops! Great to see a packed crowd here. This thing's full on, on day one. But uh, welcome, everybody. Appreciate everybody being here on this very meaningful day for WKU athletics, but especially our soccer and our softball programs. The soccer softball complex began as a dream. Then it became a vision. Then it gained momentum at our groundbreaking ceremony last August. And today it becomes a reality. The completion of this complex now marks over $14 million we have invested into our sport programs since the year 2014. And in 2025, upon the completion of our new press box and the Hilltopper Fieldhouse, we will be in the best position from a facility standpoint in the history of WKU athletics. Our soccer and softball programs do it the right way for the right reasons. Jason Nidell, Amy Tudor, and their staffs are certainly dedicated to winning championships. But they also invest daily in the development of our players with the goal of having them earn a degree while also preparing them for life and the challenges they will encounter after leaving WKU. Our soccer and softball athletes routinely excel in the classroom while also devoting many hours in various ways giving back to our community. They are terrific representatives of Western Kentucky University and Bowling Green, Kentucky. On the field of play, our soccer program has won three conference championships, and our softball program has been to three NCAA tournaments. And to their credit, they've done more with less than many of the people they routinely beat. And their success has played a big role in the past and the present of WKU athletics. But now, the addition of this complex gives each of them an even greater chance to sustain their success and impact our present and our future. Thank you again for being here and sharing this special day with us. Amy Tudor will come up.
pretty tough three hole, eh? Um, good morning. Uh, what an exciting day for both of our athletics programs. Thank you all for attending this event. First, I'd like to thank President Caboni uh, for his vision and commitment to our program, as well as our university. Secondly, Todd Stewart for giving me this opportunity to be the leader of this program and for continuing to elevate and excel as the Director of Athletics. Thank you to the Board of Regents for supporting this facility enhancement. Kara Ogden for spearheading uh, and designing this beautiful facility. The attention to detail is superb. Um, thank you to Gina Soule, Les Foresight, Kat Smith, Taylor Hunt, Parker Vick for ideas and countless hours to make this happen. And to all the architects, construction workers, and everyone who continues to pour into our program, by showing up, giving, and cheering us on on behalf of our whole softball program, thank you. As I stand in this building, I once stood in this same spot, which was a parking lot, as an athlete, watching our field be constructed, and oh, oh how I remember how exciting it was when it was completed. It was a special day, not only for the field to be completed, but for the start of our program. I am grateful Coach Leslie Phelan gave me the opportunity to be a hilltopper and for all my teammates who worked, won, and started the legacy of this program. To every WKU softball player who has worn the uniform, thank you for the foundation you laid. Even though you're not training this facility, our goal is to make you proud by taking full advantage of all the opportunities this facility provides. First, they're fun. The facility is a first for our program and how awesome for our current student athletes to train, to get treatment, watch film, be able to call this beautiful building home. We're a hop, skip, and jump away from the field. Does it get any better? We are elated with the possibilities this building presents to elevate our program with our current student athletes and the ability to continue to draw great talent to WKU to win championships. We are in the people business, and as the saying goes, if you build it, they will come. Every part of our program is built to lead, impact, and leave a legacy that will enhance all the future Hilltoppers. Our current players soon will stand in the same spot, not in a parking lot, but working, having fun, and mastering their skill sets, aiming to leave their legacy. In closing, we are here to serve and use this platform through our gift of softball. Thank you to all the leaders that go above and beyond to do your jobs that aren't in your title. We hope to exemplify the standards that you set. Thank you again for all of you that showed up and continue to support our program on so many levels. We are very grateful. Thanks for your time and your support. Go Tops. This is uh, obviously a really exciting day. Um, a lot has been said from the first three speakers that I don't want to spend the entire time rehashing. It's good to see some alumni here. I see Kara Jackson and Jennifer Holland. It's great to see you guys. Uh, I'd like them to actually stand up. Members of the inaugural team at Western Kentucky University. And uh, two student athletes that weren't from here but have set up their, their lives here with their families. So great to see you guys here. Um, what a fitting day to have a ribbon cutting of an indoor facility when it's pouring rain out. And so I was, I was getting out of my car um, about an hour ago this morning to walk over here and I went to grab my umbrella and I, and I got in the back and usually I have a Western Kentucky University umbrella, it is missing. My only umbrella was a light blue Graves Gilbert umbrella. And I thought, that is so sacrilegious today that I have a blue umbrella. So I hid it in the office, so when you guys are walking around, you won't see it. Um, but I wanted to start with a, with a story, um, and our, our players will say, that is super fitting because I like to tell stories. And most of my stories probably aren't any good, and some are better than others, but I wanted to start with a little story. So back in uh, 2001 when we started the program, um, we were trying to obviously recruit new student athletes to the university. Um, and the very first um, recruiting visit, the very first official visit, we had 12, 12 high school seniors in. Uh, Jennifer Holland was a part of this, so she'll, she's going to remember the story. I think, Kara, I think you were a little bit later, but, but Jennifer was part of that first group of 12 that came to visit campus. And there was a, a lot of them. And one thing that I do need to say before I continue is, is I need to thank Travis Hudson and apologize to him because I don't think I ever 
properly apologize to him for making his student athletes host all of our recruits that first year. And I know that at times that was a significant burden on those student athletes, but we didn't have any student athletes. And so the volleyball program helped us out. So, so thank you and sorry. <laughs> um, but we rented a, a 15 passenger van to haul the, uh, the visitors around. And uh, so the first, one of the first things we did was take a tour of campus and we drove by on Creason Street right here. And we stopped, and I had learned this flyby idea from Pam Hereford. Because when I was on my interview, when I was on my interview, we did the flyby where we drove along and we stopped on the perimeter and then we drove off. And I soon later realized that the reason that she did that was because from that distance, the field looked flat and it looked green. But back in 2000, Back in 2000, when you actually walked on the field, it was kind of undulated, and there's probably more dirt than grass. So, so Pam taught me the significance and the art of the flyby. You stop from far away, and the grass looks green, and everything looks flat, and everyone's like, oh, that's a nice field. So anyway, we did the flyby, and we, sh we didn't walk out on it, but we showed them from a distance. That's what our facility was. There was no building here, and it looked good from far, but maybe far from good, and that's what we did to recruit student athletes. So fast forward to the end of the visit, um, and we had to meet with all the student athletes. But we had these little tiny offices up in Dill Arena with slanted roofs, and about the only person that could fit in it was a five foot six head coach of the soccer team. Everyone else was a little too tall. And so we're like, well, how are we gonna meet with these student athletes? So what did we do? We used the 27th floor of PFT which was great, and it had a good overview of the field and the campus, and it was a great place to meet. Um, that's what we had to do. Fast forward now, 24 years, and look where we are right now. Look at what we can show to recruits. Look at the office space that we have to sit down and meet in. Look at the film room. The locker rooms are absolutely luxurious. I hope you'll have a chance to walk around and see the building. We are so blessed and so grateful for the opportunity to have these facilities for our current student athletes and to showcase to future student athletes. We have come a long way in 23 years. Thank you, uh, Jennifer Holland and Kara Jackson for being a part of it and continuing to be a part of it. It means so much to me um, that you guys are here today to celebrate. Thank you, uh, Dr. Caboni, for your vision and for all of this and everything you're doing on campus. Thank you, Todd, appreciate it. To all the, uh, to all the donors and regents, my, my sincere thank you for blessing us with these kinds of facilities. Uh, obviously, I would be remiss if I didn't say a thank you to all of our former and current staff who invested so much in this place to make our program better and for this to come to fruition. But most importantly, thank you to all of our current and past and former student athletes. We have this facility as a culmination of the work that you guys have put in and will continue to put in. Um, and this facility for softball and soccer, this is for the student athletes, this is for you guys. Um, and it is so encouraging um, and exciting as a coach to see the looks of pure joy when you guys get to see for the first time, your new digs. Um, and for those of you guys who have social media, there's some really great um, posts of the unveiling of the soccer locker room for soccer and the softball locker room for softball. And, and you can just see the looks of joy and, and the, them seeing the return on the investment that they've made to the sport that they love. Um, and it's a credit to, uh, to, to really everyone in this room and everyone in this community. And uh, again, from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say one more time, thank you. We do have a very um, timely match coming up this weekend. We play right behind me, right out the door. We just walk out the door and go onto our field. We play uh, Florida International on Friday night at 6 p.m. It's a key Conference USA matchup. They are undefeated in league play. And it's very, very timely because Florida International was the first 
big program win back in 2001 when Florida International was coming off their Sunbelt Championship in 2000 and they came here to the WKU Soccer Complex. Our program had done extremely well in non-conference play, but it was the first big win for the Western Kentucky Women's Soccer Program when we defeated FIU 1-0 in overtime back in 2001. And I couldn't think of a more timely opponent after this ribbon cutting than our old friends from Florida International that we're gonna take it to on Friday night. So I hope you guys will, will be here to, to cheer us on. Thank you, go Tops. That, that concludes our formal program. Uh, now what we're all here for, uh, our formal ribbon cutting. So I'm gonna invite the president, Todd, Amy, and Jason up with a student athlete from each team to, to hold the ribbon and celebrate this great day. At the conclusion of that photo, um, in addition to that photo, we'd like all of our regents to be behind them. We have red towels for our regents, so please join us when we move the podium for that. After the formal ribbon cutting, we'll invite our student athletes and staff from each program up for a bigger group photo. And at the conclusion of photos, we would love for our guests to out these doors, uh, tour the facility. It's an incredible facility for our student athletes. At the front of the building, we have uh, cookies, lemonade to enjoy uh, on your way out uh, before heading to football this evening and getting ready for soccer this weekend. So uh, we'll move the podium. Uh, and, and invite our guests up for our ribbon cutting.